Hey squad, if like me, you've been trying to get in contact with Microsoft support lately, you've likely realized it's a bit of a headache and seems hopeless. At least that's how I felt. But I'm here to assure you that as of the published time of this video, there is a way to talk to a live human at Xbox support. Before getting into the video, please like the video if you find this video helpful and give us a subscribe if you want to follow for more videos on gaming and tech. I really appreciate your support. As many of you know, for Xbox, my go-to controller is the Elite Series 2. And also, as many of you know, there are QA issues that require us to buy some type of extended warranty when getting this controller to make it worth the full price. In one of my past videos of reviewing the Elite Series 2 against the Scuf Prestige, I recommended picking up the Elite Series 2 with a three-year extended warranty straight from Microsoft as the better route. Since acquiring my Elite Series 2 back in mid-2020, I've sent my controller in a handful of times, sometimes with slight hiccups, but I was always able to get through to a live person at customer support and all interactions ended positively. However, fast forward to the start of 2022, this has absolutely not been the case. In just the past weeks, my controller has started showing some signs of stick drift and double actuation. With this effect in my gameplay, I decided it was time to execute on my warranty and get it fixed. However, upon checking my warranty status in my account, I saw the three-year warranty was no longer attached to my controller. Then I tried to reach out to support via the Xbox support link on the site, phone, and even reaching out to the greater Microsoft support team outside of Xbox. After clicking just about every issue on the Microsoft support link, I wasn't given the option to talk to a live human. When I called, I was directed back to the Xbox support link by an automated system. Then I went to help.microsoft.com to contact the greater support team for Microsoft. And I was able to be connected to a live person on chat. I thought this was gonna be it and I was gonna be good, but that wasn't the case. The customer service rep did everything that they could to help me, but at the end of the day, they said that there was no way that they could support me with anything Xbox nor could they even transfer me to anybody that's live on the Xbox side. At this point, it was really blowing my mind as I understood big companies can sometimes work in silos, but not having a way to transfer information or customers between departments seemed kind of wild to me. Then after doing some digging and thinking about some of the past tactics that worked for me, I decided to reach out to Microsoft via Twitter and still thinking I wouldn't get any support I went to their Twitter account and quickly realized I might be in better hands. They had a pretty clear cut automated system that gave me the option to connect with a live agent. And rather than a bot asking me a billion questions before saying they couldn't help me or transfer me to a live rep, the first response I got was, let me transfer you to a live agent. After a few clicks, my DM was off and I was waiting for their response. I do have to note that I contacted them later in the day around 6 p.m. PST, which tends to be after hours for most customer service teams in the U.S. I didn't expect to hear much back until the next day as I wasn't clear if they were offering 24-7 support through this channel. But after a few hours, a live agent responded asking for the details and said that they would escalate my ticket and call or email me if they needed more information. The next business day, they sent me a simple response saying their team had submitted my request and it will take five to seven days for it to be applied, meaning attaching my extended warranty back to my controller. However, when I checked the following day, I saw my extended warranty had already been restored to my account and my controller. But this time, I did see that they put two instead of the original three years I purchased. I'm not sure why they would put that window as the extended warranty given currently is still three years. I'm not worried with this and I will just look to address this when the time comes. I'm not concerned that there will be much of an issue with them making this adjustment considering my past experiences with their CS teams after talking to a live person. In conclusion, while this is an extremely frustrating experience with Microsoft's current customer service systems, I'm not going to put Microsoft at too much fault here. This is for four reasons. One, this pandemic has affected companies in unforeseeable ways where many thought they would always have support, especially in entry to mid-level positions. This includes roles in customer service. While Microsoft is a big company, they're no different when it comes to the strains the pandemic has created on the labor force. 
as I was more easily able to connect with a live human via phone or chat in the past. Over time, it was getting progressively harder for me to connect with a live person. My experience tells me that Microsoft likely has a considerably smaller customer service team on the Xbox side and likely company-wide. And that has resulted in them disabling live support for just about every topic in their support interface. Their system likely wasn't made with this in mind. So we still see blurbs on call center times and 24 seven chat support and no viable alternative appears available. Two, for me, once getting through to a customer service rep, they're always very helpful and looking for ways to make the experience positive. Three, their automated system actually works very well in more cut and dry cases where, for example, you may need a refund or a cancellation of a game you purchased. There just isn't an option for something else like what you see with their Twitter DM bot. Four, it did take a little bit longer with the DMs, but if my extended warranty wasn't disassociated with my controller, this would have been a completely automated and seamless experience. I still think that if you're going to purchase the Elite Series 2, it's best to purchase through Microsoft because it's the best deal. But if the potential of their customer service systems falling through is something that you don't want to deal with when buying this controller through them, I suggest you utilize your local brick and mortar retailers that offer solid warranties and allow you to redeem in store same day for a minimal warranty fee, if at all. We're just starting off 2022 and this virus still isn't gone, but Let's hope that we're in the last days of this virus affecting everyone and everything for the worse and that we start to see some normalcy regain in the coming days. I expect Xbox support and other industries to get back to the well-oiled machines that they once were from a CS standpoint. But I also expect these companies to learn and grow from these challenges and make some major updates to their systems that's not only going to improve customer experiences, but employee experiences. With that said, if you need support and you need a live person from Microsoft, reach out to them via Twitter. Otherwise, utilize the automated support that actually works pretty well if you have something that's cut and dry. And I know that some of the issues we're reaching out for a live person for, we're already frustrated and we could be coming in real hot. But just know this isn't going to help the situation and you're dealing with another live person on the other side. Mental health is a serious thing and having to put up with rude, terrible people is a major reason why many of us don't want these jobs. So be kind, show respect, and live for a moment in the bubble of positive intent, believing that they're doing everything that they can to support you. Try to make their day positive from a customer standpoint. Often good things result. And that's it. Have you figured out any alternative ways of contacting customer support with Xbox? If so, leave a comment down below. Help us all out. Also, keep sharing your alternatives when it comes to warranties and support around the Elite Series 2 or even other controllers and brands that you rock with or are curious about. Thanks for watching and I appreciate your support.